All right, this is for all the types out there that have feeling as a demon. So if you are a ENFJ or ESFJ or INFP or ISFP, those four types, right, you have feeling as a savior. There's no way around it. You can't not have your first function as a savior. So your first function is absolutely going to be a savior, and your fourth function is absolutely going to be a demon. But guess what? Don't tell Myers and Briggs. Your two functions in the middle are negotiable. Yeah, that's right. Your second function is not necessarily guaranteed to be your savior, and your third function is not guaranteed to be your demon. We're seeing that half the population, they switch, which means half your friends and family out there are going to be savior functions on their first and third, and the other half is going to be on their first and second. That is the biggest thing that we're seeing consistently in tracking people objectively. What exactly is the deal with feeling as a demon? If you have feeling as a demon, you're going to have thinking as a savior. What we're seeing is that people that have thinking as a savior and feeling as a demon, no matter what order, no matter what kind, right? They have to have good reasons for their feelings. And this is what they're saying. This is what they're reporting. As we're watching people feeling limited and trapped and bound by their demons, thinking it's coming from the outside world, right? That in this particular case, they're not realizing that, hey, Dick, you can have feelings. You can have an opinion emotionally on something, even though you don't have to have good reasons. So the thinking dominant person or the person that has feeling as a demon is constantly getting frustrated because they're having to go along with stuff that makes a lot of sense. Hey, the tribe wants to do this and it makes a lot of sense. Oh, okay. I don't really like that, but I have to go along with the reasons. Or, hey, this is the best thing for you to do says your life path, TI, you have to do this. Okay, it's true. I have to do it. I said I wanted to be an airline pilot and this is the best school to be an airline pilot. It's in the wrong state with the wrong people. It makes me feel weird. I don't like it, but it's the best thing to do. I have to do it. I can't get away from the reasons. And then what happens is you start going through life and that demon feeling finally bubbles up once a month and says, you know what? Fuck you. I do hate this shit. I don't care if it's the best reasons. And now that feeling has got to come flying up like a tidal waving demon and dramatize and wreck your life. And you're like, where the hell did that come from? So as savior thinking, you go through life being this very logical, calm, rational, clear-headed person. And then once a month, this weirdo, emotional, childish, baby, freak out feeling comes flying out. You tantrum, you're the biggest goddamn drama queen in town, and then go unconscious and completely forget you did it. Kind of weird, right? The thing that we're really finding that's helping people a lot is people that have feeling as a demon is letting them know, hey, dude, it's okay to have feelings and you don't have to have good reasons. If you like something, it's okay to just like it. If you don't like it, it's okay to not like it. It doesn't mean now that you're done with the decision-making process. Maybe your thinking is locked on to the best path and you got to get your feelings on board. Or maybe your feelings are in a good place and you should throw out the best reason and the best logic and the best idea and look for the second best reason, the second best logic, because that works with your feeling. You've got to get congruent with those two deciders. You can't screw one over for the sake of the other. You can't tell your feelings, just shove it. Stop feeling that way. It's not logical because that's not going to work. It's just going to keep bubbling back up. So what has helped a lot is like kind of explaining this out to people, especially logical people. They can see this. They can understand this. And you can kind of turn the function back on itself. It's like, hey, the most logical, rational thing to do is to not demand your emotions to have logic and reasons, right? Kind of makes a lot of sense. It's rational and logical to know that you have feeling deep down in there. It is a demon. It is still there. It's still real. It still serves a purpose. And to give it its place to come out and do what it's got to do. You need to go in the shower and cry. You need to go on a long walk and cry. You need to yell at somebody. Do it. Get the emotions out. So using that thinking to help prove to yourself you don't need logic and reasons to feel what you're feeling.